What's going on guys? Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to hack your GoPro. Whether it's a number five or the newest 11, this is gonna show you how to run, run custom firmware and all kinds of cool applications on it. Let's begin. Woohoo! All right, so to start off, you need a GoPro. So I've got my Hero 10 Black. What you need is a memory card which you should have already for your GoPro. Today we're using a 64 gig, doesn't matter the size, to stick this into a little card reader here. So you do have to do this on your computer. So these are the files that are gonna show up on your GoPro, DCIM, miscellaneous, yada, yada, yada. Okay, we're just gonna minimize the screen right now. We're gonna come down here to the internet and we're gonna type in here, GoPro Labs, okay? I go down to the community one. You can click on whichever one you want, but click on this one. This is gonna bring up the GoPro Labs website, and you're gonna come right over here to where it says get started and click on that. This shows you all about the GoPro Labs information, and basically this is custom firmware, okay? So what I wanna do now is I wanna scroll down here. So I have a Hero 10 Black, so I'm gonna come up to that and click on this. Screen's gonna come up black, but you're gonna see at the top, it's gonna say download right here. So click that download, okay? This is gonna download, and once that is done, I am going to open this, and you're gonna have a folder here It's gonna say update, and I'm just gonna grab this update. Make sure when you download, it's gonna be zipped. Double click, click on this folder to get to the inside one where it's unzipped and it says update, and grab this update and drag that down right into your GoPro and drop. Okay. I will speed this up for you guys so you don't actually have to wait. All right, bingo bango, that is done. Grab our SD card, we got it. And we're going to stick this back into our GoPro. Okay, that's clicked. I'm gonna close this up because we don't need that open anymore. Okay, so now we have that. Our GoPro's here. We have the update file on the SD card. We're gonna power this thing up and it's going to update. So I'm gonna do this. Ready? Just push the power button. Okay. So that is loading the custom firmware. Again, this should only take about, I don't know, 30 to 45 seconds. And your GoPro may shut on or off a couple times. Okay, it shut off. There we go. So that says, I don't know if you're sure if you guys can see that or not. It says update complete. Okay, so now that that's done, turn the GoPro on and it says, see how it says my name and all that stuff? That's what we're gonna program yours to do. Now that we have the custom firmware, what I want you to do is close this one here. Go back to this GoPro Labs page Okay, so we're gonna go back to this page again. Uh, once you have all this page, you can click on here. And this is gonna bring you up to GoPro Labs QR controls for settings. So if you scroll down, all of these different things here are settings that can be changed for your GoPro. So here's some of the basics. Setting your camera's date and time, it can be on a QR code. So you can program it, you just scan the QR code and it'll update your GoPro. If you wanna run multiple GoPros and have them all synced at the exact same time, there's a QR control customizer. You can, you can do this QR code and this will sync all your GoPros together. You can add owner's information like you saw mine. You can add your name and phone number. So whenever the GoPro turns on, it'll have your name and phone number just in case you ever lost it which is quite handy. Um, there's delayed actions. There's start recording at a particular time. So you can set your GoPro to start recording at let's say 5 p.m. when you're not home, just to come on at that time. Uh, motion detection, you can set your GoPro to um, record when it, it detects motion or speed activation. So you can have it, let's say it was on an airplane, you could have your GoPro out on the wing and as soon as it got to a certain speed, it would start recording, so that works cool. There's all kinds of stuff in here, extra line time lapse, there's experimental functions. 
This one's really cool, guys. This is a 12 gigabyte chapters. So when you open your GoPro, you're gonna notice that a lot of times it's gonna give you a bunch of small files. Okay, so if I come here and double click on it, and I go to like my head cam or like corner cam, I get all these video files, look at them all. So the max a GoPro will do each video file is four gigabytes. So if you come into here and do 12 gigabyte chapters, that's what it'll do. Instead of a four gigabyte file for each of those, it'll be 12. So you're gonna have one third less the file. So let's say you get 21 of those videos everywhere. Instead of that, you're gonna have seven, which is so much easier to work with, especially editing videos. You can do altered file naming. Um, you can change your exposure lock, shutter angles. There's all kinds of things you can do on here. Also, there's a web page. If I come up here and I type in on this one, it'll show you how to do different aspect ratios. If you want, you can have your GoPro show you the ISO and the shutter speed right on the camera. You can also add a histogram to, the, to your front screen. So if you're taking videos, you can add a spirit level to the rear camera to show you when you're level. Um, let's scroll down. You can have overlay extensions. You can add your own little video symbols. Let's say for fox fishing, I have the FFs here. I can have that on all my videos. You can do so many things in this. The main thing though, what the reason I came to this and upgraded my firmware is because of this, this T USB equals one. So what that enables is trust USB power. So some USB power sources, they, they, the GoPro wants 2.1 or 2.4 amps. And what happens is if your cable isn't giving it that, or it thinks that it's not giving it that, it won't power your GoPro, especially with a battery bank. So I really right like this TUSB one. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna show you how to add that to my GoPro. And what that does is it tells my GoPro, go into here, it tells my GoPro that I've got good power. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna see, create your own QR codes. If I click on this, it says QR code customizer. I'm gonna click on that. This is gonna bring up the GoPro QR code creator. And what this does is you're gonna create your own QR code. So when I scan it with the GoPro, anything I click on here, it's gonna program this. But what it also allows, here's all the basic stuff. It allows down here additional, additional commands. So that one to, to force it to accept USB power less than 2.4 or 2.1, I can push this code into it. T USB equals one. Now, if you don't wanna always have to scan this QR code every time you use it, what you can do is at the front of that is add an exclamation mark that just changed that QR code. So with the exclamation mark, that means it's permanent. So that means every time my GoPro powers up, it's gonna have this additional command in there. Then all I have to do is take my GoPro with the custom firmware that we just put on it from labs. And I'm gonna go like this and just bring this over. That QR code. There, just accepted it, okay? So now, anytime I boot up my camera, I have that code booted inside this system. And we can even test that. Let's go over here. I've got a really, really long GoPro cable right here. And my GoPro would never power with this cable. One, because it was so long and so junky that it would always say low power on Hero 10. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this. I'm gonna plug this into here, my power box. How long this cable is? I think it's like 10 feet or something. And, I'm gonna take my GoPro, open it up. Take out the battery. So previously, people who wanted to use a cable where it had low power, you could keep the battery in, plug the cable in, and then once it was on, pull the battery and it would work. You don't have to do that anymore. Let's close this up. Take this good old guy. See, I got power. 
plug it in. Now normally my GoPro wouldn't even work. It wouldn't even power on with that amount of power. But let's test it. And you can see there, it just said custom firmware. And now it's on. This thing would normally power off. It would say not enough power and shut down. Now I can run it without a battery with a junky old cable. And this cable is like 10 feet long. And I guarantee this GoPro is only probably getting about two amps, maybe 1.9, I don't know. But it definitely doesn't need what it suggests it needs. So there you go. Now I could hook this up on my boat, hook this up in an ice hut, and it's gonna rec record and be powered from a portable device. And I, I don't have to have a power box. I could grab a smaller battery, like up in here, a little portable one. Open it up, power this thing on. Okay, it's powered on. And where's my plug? Plug it in. Okay. There. And. There we go. And that's working. There we go. So I'm running a GoPro with like a 10 foot cable and on less than 2.1 amps from just this little battery bank and it's gonna run. And the GoPro 10 was really, really difficult. It would always shut off due to saying not enough power. So that is a 100% fix for you guys out there. Don't roll back your firmwares, just add the GoPro Labs um, custom firmware and then do the custom code in there. So I'm gonna put all the codes down below so you guys can see all the different codes. I'll put the main ones, not all of them, but I'll put some of them, especially this one down below so that way you guys know which ones you want to use and these are so handy for anyone recording outdoors nature gopro at all um, and other youtubers so hopefully this helps like and comment if you find any other really cool commands that might be useful post them down in the comments below guys thank you very much and see you on the next one bye, -bye. Woo!